Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use a JSON format file to convert it into any other format like CSV, uh, Parquet, anything um, by using the data factory and the data flow. Data flow inside the data factory. So here I have a container blob container. Inside it I have two containers, one final and one row raw. So inside final it is empty and raw. I have uh, my JSON file here. So as you can see, let me show you. This is in a JSON format. Okay. And uh, you can see here I have one entity as a string. And inside that I have two more values here. So our main purpose is to break down these two columns and take it in the data frame like we want to have only four columns id status instagram id and a message so i will show you first thing you will need a data factory so you can search here data factory create new data factory here you can select your resource group so any location so I'm from India so I'm going to select India name of your data factory anything I'm selecting it should be unique okay then next git configuration configure letter and review and create okay then create hit create so it will create your data factory it takes a bit time we'll see it Okay, it's done. Go to resource, hit here, data factory studio. Now we are inside our data factory. So let us summarize what we have. We have a JSON file inside our blob storage. So when we created a data factory, what are the things we are going to need? So here we will need a data flow, we will need a pipeline, and we will need a two data sets. One as an input data set, one as an output data set. But to create a data set, we will need one link service. So we are going to create a link service first of all. Blob storage. Here, select your blob storage and just create the link service. Okay, so you can just. Yeah, okay. So we have created our link service. Then we will go back to author here, dataset, new dataset. So, Azure Blob Storage, it's our JSON file. Okay, right? So, give a good name, naming convention. Okay, dataset of a JSON file underscore input file. Okay, linked service, we created one and we will select the file. Okay, and hit OK. Now we will need another data set which is from blob storage and we want to convert it into CSV format. So data set underscore CSV underscore output file. Okay. It will actually help us to understand the which one to choose. Okay. We will save it into final folder. Okay. Final container first to as header and hit OK. So Next thing, we want to create a data flow. New data flow. So inside this data flow, if you do this data flow debug on, turn it on. One hour, okay, hit OK. It will turn this thing on. It is a data flow debug, which gives you access to review your data live which is really good but it it's gonna cost you okay so keep in mind so we are going to hit add a source we will select our data set it is a input data set json format uh, for json you will need to have one thing for sure you will need to take care go into source options json settings it array of documents this is going to help you 
to review the data okay and one more thing I'm gonna show you go to projections okay so let this debug happen okay let this debug complete it it really takes takes time it takes sometimes uh, five to ten minutes or even more depends on the availability of service on cloud so it's it takes some time so we have to wait it will show our data here okay live data whatever mm, the transformations we do here it will show us in here okay so just some setting single partition it is just a single file small file you can see here in inspect you can see here our object story spec it is showing a <clears throat> this uh, stringed array format here so <coughs> uh, it is very important to change this format to um, like um, it should show the list of the contents inside it i'll show you right away just we'll just wait for this uh, data flow debug to come up to done so we can move forward so inside projections these are projections we'll just wait till this completes okay these are just extra json settings you have to select this one array of documents if you select uh, this is our default okay document per line and if you have this line ticked then you can't preview your data or it doesn't accept your data as is okay you have to select uh, array of files that's required okay uh, as you can see our data flow debug is um, done so we can preview our data refresh here it takes a bit time fetching data yeah you can see the data what we are getting here so this is the object so we want to convert that object so go to projection import projection click on this import projection it does all the thing for you it is very important step in this situation so to convert this string into this is actually a um, struct format so we have to convert it into the normal list we can read so to show successfully imported okay our projections yes you can see here arrow these two columns right here this one is very important okay so now we will go to plus icon we will do flatten flatten on the flatten on this column okay then we will come here we will just delete this column we don't need this that column we will add one fixed mapping and here we will select okay 
we will select Instagram ID object spec dot Instagram ID okay name is all right another fixed mapping click here go down message message comes here all looks good to me optimize single partition we don't need multiple partitions it is a small data right here so this this is the output okay so one column is not showing here let me check Instagram ID and message ID and status so inspect input output I'm not really sure why it's not showing Let's flatten Instagram ID let's check the data preview okay it will give us a uh, right idea what Whatever things are going on here. So data flow, data preview is very important. You can see your data right away. Let's see. Yeah, we have got four columns: ID, status, Instagram ID, and message, all separated out. So we can just sync it to sync. Yeah, this output data set sync data set is our CSV format. Everything looks good. Optimize single partition. Okay, and now our data flow is ready. We'll go to pipeline, create a new pipeline, and here we will drag this data flow. And hit debug. So now it is debugging the whole code. Okay, we'll see. This code refresh in progress. <coughs> it takes a time. Everything in the cloud takes time. Just be patient. In progress. Let's just wait. It takes around one minute, maybe. Data flow is very important. Like, whenever you want to do some extra queries, extra data transformation activities, data flow comes in, right? It's, it's a code free thing to do everything right we don't have to code hard code anything it was just selecting the functions and doing our, all the processes for us <coughs> it is taking a bit more time okay Succeeded. <clears throat> you can see it has been succeeded. We'll go to our blob storage inside final. You should see a file here. Uh, let's wait. It's refreshing yet. I don't know what happened. Let's refresh. Azure storage. Blob storage. Something went wrong. My internet, I think it's my internet issue. Yeah, Here, as you can see, a file got created. It is a CSV format. Let me show you. Edit. 
here as you can see csv and all the data came in as a csv format comma delimited and you can see this one is a header line it's all done so thank you for watching comment if any there is any doubt so thank you